Hello friends, my name is Rajkumar Thenwa. Today I will discuss about the lookup table. How we can use a lookup table in Simulink model. Lookup tables are really very useful for the estimation of models. So first of all, we will understand what is lookup table and after that we will use that lookup table in a Simulink model. So first question is what is lookup table? A lookup table is an array of data that maps input values to the output values. So if you have some uh, set of data, that is the input values and output values, then lookup table gives uh, some relation we can say. With the help of lookup table, we can establish some relation uh, between the input and output or simply we can say we can estimate a model with the help of lookup table. Uh, so whenever you provide any value to the system, the system will produce some output. Uh, the value uh, may be the exact breakpoint, what, whatever the data you have provided in the lookup table or it may be in between the values. Uh, or it may be the outside the values okay so that are called uh, interpolation and extrapolation currently this data uh, is uh, taken for the function y is equal to x cube uh, sometimes you may have some uh, mathematical function uh, but it is not necessary the condition may be like that you have some uh, set of random data or rough data and you want to estimate some model in that case lookup table are useful and apart from that uh, lookup tables are useful uh, to increase the speed of simulation because you have the pre-calculated values of a function uh, you are only required to map the values so the mapping is a fast operation instead of calculating uh, at the time of simulation uh, that's why lookup tables are preferred in the simulate models or model based design and uh, this is the uh, graph for this data uh, here x is the input data and y is the output data so uh, the y is called as the table data we can say and x is called as the breakpoints so whatever the value of x is provided at that point we have some value of y and in between we are just estimating the values so whatever the value of x are given that are called the breakpoints so whenever you provide any value of x uh, you can uh, retrieve the corresponding value of y from the lookup table so Simulink can estimate an output values using interpolation, extrapolation or rounding uh, wherever it is required. So I think uh, you have the knowledge about the interpolation. Uh, so interpolation is a process for estimating values that lies between known data points. So you can uh, understand the interpolation like that. Uh, in the previous table, you can check here, we have the data only for minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three. Okay, uh, we don't have the data for mi uh, minus 1.5 uh, or 1.5, 2.5, okay, or any value in between. We don't have the data for that. Suppose uh, if we provide that value to the system, then what will be the output? Okay, so that estimation is uh, known as interpolation. So the interpolation is the process of estimating values that lie between the known data points. So for example, here we have taken the minus 1.5. So the uh, system will uh, estimate the value that is minus 4.5 because uh, at this time we have the correct relation for this data that is uh, y is equal to x uh, cube. So if you make the uh, cube of minus 1.5, it comes to minus 3.375. So we are not getting the exact value, right? Uh, because uh, we are taking some estimation the accuracy of the output data depends on the method which interpolation method you are using in the simulink we have uh, multiple options for the interpolation as well as the extrapolation right this data point is shown here so this is the interpolated value these are the breakpoint and uh, if you are calculating some values in between that is interpolated values okay second is the extrapolation so in the extrapolation, we are just calculating or estimating uh, some value beyond the limits. So we have provided the data up to the three, up to the breakpoint three, but now we are interested to calculate the uh, value uh, at x is equal to four. Okay, so uh, this estimation is known as the extrapolation. So extrapolation is out of the range we can say. So uh, an extrapolation is the process for estimating values that lie beyond the range of the known data points. Okay, so if you estimate some model, you can perform the extrapolation also. Again, the accuracy depends on the method you used and how many data points you are considering. So definitely when uh, the data points are more, the accuracy will be more. 
uh, there are various lookup tables in the Simulink. Uh, 1D lookup table, 2D lookup table, n-dimensional. So these are the dimensional basically, right? So uh, n-dimensional lookup table, pre-lookup table, interpolation using pre-look. So there are variety of lookup tables. There's a dynamic look lookup table also. Today I will cover uh, 1D lookup table and in further lectures I will cover some uh, other lookup tables. Uh, so let's see how we can uh, implement the concept which I have discussed uh, in the previous slides in the Simulink. So let's see how we can implement this in Simulink. So open the Simulink, create a new model, open the library browser, uh, go to the lookup tables. Yeah, so we have the separate category for the lookup tables. You consider the 1D lookup table. In this case, you have to take one constant block just to provide the input data and uh, you have to take one display block uh, just to display the output data so we can take the display right and uh, you have to provide the uh, table data and the breakpoints in the lookup table so it can estimate the uh, output corresponding to the input so here uh, we have the table data that means we have to enter the value of y right so we are considering the data what uh, whatever i have presented in the slide so I am entering the value of y, okay? And after that, uh, for the breakpoint specification, we have the two options. Either we can use the explicit values or we can use the even spacing. So in case of even spacing, you have to provide the starting point. So that is minus three. And after that, the spacing. So in our example, uh, we have the spacing of one, right? Uh, because the value of x are minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. So we have the uh, spacing of 1. And that uh, spacing is even spacing. So uh, this is the one way in which we can uh, provide the breakpoints. So you can check the or edit table data. So these are the breakpoints and this is the table data. So you can uh, plot the data just to check, right? And there are some uh, additional options just to uh, remove the uh, selected column, uh, and if you want to add some column or you want to add some row or remove some row so these are some additional options right now the second option is uh, you can just use the explicit values so the explicit values uh, is useful whenever you have some uneven spacing okay uh, we don't have the even spacing suppose uh, we have some value like minus two after that uh, uh, one uh, then four then ten like that okay uh, here I am taking the explicit values, no problem. Uh, even we have the uh, even spacing, but I am considering the explicit values because there are some interpolation methods that uh, do not support the uh, even spacing. They support the explicit values, okay? Uh, in the explicit values, you can uh, provide the even spacing values also, no problem. So here I am providing the value of x, that is minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, then three, right? So again, you can check, we are getting the values like this, okay? Okay, uh, now you're ready with the model, and uh, now you can provide the input. Uh, suppose uh, I am providing the value minus three. Run the model. So I'm getting the minus 27 because uh, this is the point that is mapped in the table, okay? So we are getting the exactly output. We have not given any uh, mathematical expression inside the table. We have just given the data and according to the data, it is mapping the input with the output. Okay. So whenever I am providing some known input, it is providing the exactly the output. But if I provide some data that is in between, we have not provided that value exactly. Right. So in the table, we have not provided the minus 1.5. In that case, you can estimate the output. So in this case, we are getting minus 4.5, okay? But exactly it should be minus 3.375. So there is some error that depends on the method of interpolation. So by changing the method of interpolation, you can correct this uh, errors uh, up to some extent, okay? So you can check from where you can uh, change the algorithm or uh, interpolation method. So we have the option interpolation method. So at this time we are using the linear point slope. So we have uh, different options. So the cubic spline and uh, Akima spline, these two methods are uh, much better. If you have the idea about the numerical computation techniques, definitely you have idea about the interpolation. 
right now you can run the model again now you are getting minus 3.15 because the cube of minus 1.5 is uh, minus 3.375 so uh, we uh, we are a uh, little bit closer or we can say we have uh, less error as compared to the previous one uh, again you can change the algorithm to the Akima spline right run now you are getting minus 3.46 Okay, so it is uh, much closer to the exact value. So that depends on the algorithm, which algorithm you are using based on that your model work perfectly, right? Now, if we provide the value outside the data, which we have provided in the lookup table. So if I provide four, then the output should be 64. The correct output is 64. If we uh, use the uh, y is equal to x q, because we have provided uh, very little data, so um, it is a little bit difficult to get the exact output. But uh, we have to check which method is giving less error. Okay, so if I use this method, I am getting 43.32, and if I change this to linear point slope linear point slope so you have to change the extrapolation method that is linear okay we are getting 46 so uh, it has a little error as compared to uh, the previous algorithm okay so it is not necessary the algorithm will give the um, good results in the interpolation as well as in the extrapolation okay now if I use here the extrapolation method as a cubic spline in that case you can okay so uh, you have to choose the interpolation method as well cubic spline okay so we are getting the same result there is no change okay so I hope uh, now you can perform the uh, interpolation extrapolation uh, and you can design a uh, model with a lookup table we have some additional option also if you want to produce some error if the uh, data is out of range uh, whatever the input you are providing uh, that is out of range and you are not interested in the extrapolation uh, you want to just give some warning or error you can set for that also suppose I uh, set here error so in this case if you provide the value out of range in that case it will throw an error you can check here error while initializing the parameter so you can check here x e range of breakpoint vector for dimension one right so uh, you can uh, set all these things also so there are different options now i think uh, you can easily use the uh, 1d lookup table just try this uh, you can use for the y is equal to x square and check the results by taking some value between the uh, data set or some value outside the data range just to perform the interpolation and extrapolation so practice and if you think uh, you have learned something from this video, please like this video, share this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.